it's Mr. Ed here. Today is June 21st, 2023. You ain't gonna believe this. I am like so close to the Abbey on this one. I'm only seven miles from the Abbey on this one. And where this beehive is located is definitely unusual, at least, I mean, it's not, I haven't seen this one uh, before, but I'm actually standing right in front of it. This is it. This is where the beehive is located. And right here, right there, is the entrance to the hive. <laughs> the, the bees have gone underneath the tarp right here and what I'm told is it's a fountain right here. So how, how they've constructed the hive, mounted it, attached it, I, I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a mystery to me how, that, how the bees did that. But we're going to find out pretty soon. Hey, today, guess who I got with me today? You are not going to believe this. Nope, it ain't Wreck-It Route. And nope, it ain't Good Time Charlie. I'm with... Mystery guest, Julio, Julio from Arkansas Adventure, my ex-mailman, and what else, man? Anyway, you're not going to, and this is the other thing, Julio lives two blocks away, two, two blocks away from, from where we are right now. So on my way over here, I picked up Julio, that's how come good time Charlie ain't here, because Charlie would have to come all the way from Slidell, 30 miles away, Julio's just down the street. So I picked up Julio. Who's going to help me with this one? I don't think it's going to be very much. I don't even know how long the bees have been here. But by the grace of God, these little bees right here, <laughs> they're coming back with me up at the Abbey. I'm going to get the flare and I'm going to show you where how the bees look like underneath this. And here is the image of the bees underneath the tarp. And the bees, the location of the bees are right well, I'm telling you, it's, it's getting a nice, nice, big, bright image right there. Look at that. And they're located right there. You can see the two little dots. That's where they are in this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the veil that covers the bees. I like the smoker, put a little bit of smoke in there. I hear Julio getting it started up right now. Kind of calm him down somewhat and we'll take this off and look, see what we're really gonna get into this morning. And now you're not gonna believe this, a surprise. We're, we're, Julio is out walking around in, in, the, in, the, in the backyard, it's a pretty big backyard. And he goes, Ed, Ed, check this out. We got it. We got, I think we got bees over here too. Look at this. We got some more bees. Let me grab the camera. I'm going to show you these. Now, this is where the, the bees that we're going to be removing right now are. But Julio's walking around back here. Julio, point them out. Show them. Come on. You see? Go, Julio. Go, Julio. Go, Julio. It's a duck box, a wood duck box. Yeah, look and at that. And they're all inside the wood duck box. Now I've come here about three years ago and pulled bees out of, I don't know if it was this duck box or another one, but I pulled bees out of a, a box for him already. But look at these bees. So I can assure you, he doesn't want these bees here. So we might be taking this bee box. Look at this, look at them down here as well. Golly. And this box is chalk a box full. And who knows, maybe the, the swarm got that... cone on the outside. Yeah, there's even comb on the outside. The, the bees that are in that, uh, underneath that tarp may have actually swarmed out of here. So let's go take care of the, the bees under the tarp first, and then we'll find out what we're going to be doing with these bees right here. So I'm going to lift up the bottom of this and try to put a little smoke up in here. I don't even know where the bees are, but I'm just going to put some smoke in here just to calm them down. I can hear them. They don't like that. All right.
let's go ahead and take this off see what we're looking like I gotta be careful I don't they may have attached yeah I think they've attached comb to it so I'm peeling that comb the tarp away from the comb right now I can see that there you go Top part's gonna be funny. I don't like that dripping. It's supposed to be a fountain. What's on the meat here? Getting ready to have our big reveal. Okay, can you pick it up on me? We're gonna slip slide it over this way. A little bit of a cone with me. With the tarp? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Oh no, just one piece, that's yeah. good. Wow. Now we can get a couple of bees. I'll show you this. Let me, let me grab the camera and show you this. There it is. Oh, what a pretty, pretty little hive. I'm telling you, that's amazing how bees do what they do, where they construct their colonies, where they construct them. I did have one piece of comb just fell off right there. So I'm gonna get this stuff up. I'm gonna vacuum up these bees. I'm gonna use the Everything Bee Vac on this one. I'm not, right now, I'm looking to see if I see my queen just walking around. Golly, it's very, very gentle bees. Nice bees. All right, let's start removing some of the bees off of this and taking off some of that comb. And also I want to show you this is what was inside of the tarp. We've got a couple of bees in here, a few pieces of comb, but I'll get all of this. We'll get all this stuff. In fact, I think I'll, I'll get this stuff first and then go after the other ones. Uncapped brood right here, as well as other brood. 
So we know our queen is near here. seen her. <laughs> As our bees are running out of room, I mean they're they're really clustering on the comb pretty good right now. But golly these bees are just so calm. She just keeps on a running. doing a dance up in I there. I saw one doing that earlier. That was really cool. Uh-huh. Right, let's get these bees off of this face. What are you looking like? A little bit bigger piece right here. But look at the bees. Wow. Look at them making a bridge. That's cool. See the bridge? Do I see her? No. You can see the bees are building up on the on the back side as we take it away comb. Let's get some of these off of here. Uh -huh. 
Look, you can see how they're running, how they're running down in here. Mm -hmm. And that's generally, you'll see when you see that, a lot of times our queen will come out in there. But as long as I put the backing hose up there, it'll chase her right back up to where she was. She won't come out. Let's pull this piece off. Nope, I don't see her. She's not holding them. Lion said he can finally breathe. What? A lion said he can finally oh. breathe. <laughs> not choked off, huh? Mm -hmm. You see there's a, a cluster of bees down underneath here. In fact, I see her butt right there. I just saw her butt. Got a big old red butt. I just saw her. Now you won't be able to, she's, cause I, she crawled up on into all those bees. If anything, she's gonna be on the very bottom. There she is right there. No, she's she's crawling right here. She's crawling right there. That's all right, we, we, we'll get her, we'll get her. Let's get these bees. You know, I saw her, there she is right there. Look, look at her right here, you see her right here? Right there? Oh yeah, oh, she went in quick. Yeah, that's all right, that's all right. She's not gonna go anywhere. No, uh -uh. She's right here, see her? Point to her? Right there. Yeah. Right here. Look at her on the bottom. Right here. Yeah, that's right. No, that's not where you're pointing. All right, we got her. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Wow, we. I told you she was a big old red butted girl. All right, let's finish vacuum up these bees. Well, folks. <laughs> That hive ain't there no more. And that lion can once again breathe a little bit easier. I guess once they get all that wax cut off of them, cleaned off of them. So our bees are gone. Here's our comb. All of this is frameable comb, all of that. And I will get all that framed up. We'll get that in a box and Here's our bees and our queen. Wow. Great easy removal. Hi Julio, how's it feel? Great. Yeah, what, what feels great? So I'll tell you what feels great. We left my house at 7 o'clock, got here at 7.01, <laughs> and we're finished. We've been finished since 8 o'clock. <laughs> Charlie, easy peasy lemon squeeze. <laughs> Charlie is going to be mad. <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, this was even less than two hours. <laughs> less than two hours, yeah. So, so, Julio, I know this is probably like, what, about the third or fourth, maybe fifth one that you've done? Right. So, out of all the ones that you've done with me, you know, how does this one rank? Oh, this is number one. Why is that? As far as easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely the easiest one we've done. Yeah, and so, like, any kind of, like, um, things that you thought that were particularly interesting? Particularly interesting. That it, we didn't have to cut anything out. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was unique as far as, you know, on the face of a fountain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we let that, like, the, uh, the lion can breathe. Hey, that's the third time we said that. Yeah, no. Or fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should title the video, The Lion the Can lion, Breathe. The Lion Can Breathe. <laughs> Poor lion. <laughs> and bees all up his mouth. So that, that really was, I mean, golly, you, you couldn't ask for an easier removal than that. Uh, you know, I wish that Randy could have done that one, but you know, sometimes that guy's, he, he'd rather, he'd rather do those really hard ones than, than these ones. So before I close, I want to uh, invite you all to uh, a conference. Yeah, that's right. A conference 
It's going to be in Quincy, Illinois on July 14th and 15th. It's the Mississippi Valley Beekeepers Association ISBA Summer Clinic. And they've got a really great lineup of speakers. For one, they've got Corey Stevens, Cayman Reynolds, uh, on a 628 Dirt Rooster, uh, myself, and that's about all I can think of on top of my head. But it's going to be a great, great conference. And if you're anywhere in, the, in that area, in, in, I think it's just a little about an hour and a half south of Chicago in that area, about two hours north of St. Louis, come on down and you know we'd love to see you. But for this video right here, I think that's about it, huh? All right. So, oh, wait, wait, before we close, um, you got to go check out at the end of the video because when I leave here, I'm going to check my swarm traps, which are only about two miles from here, the, from the beehive house, and we're going to see how they do. So you got to check that out too. All right, I think that's everything over here. Uh-oh. So what are we going to say? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. You know, what do we say? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks what? Uh, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. And till next no, no, time. No, no, we'll oh. be making more. And we'll be making more. All right, we're going to do that one more okay. time. All right, so start it. Say it. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. And till next time. No, we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. This is the real one? Uh, no, what do I say? Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep I'm going to say watching. keep on watching. We'll be making more. All right, okay. All right, all right. You ready? Thanks for watching. Wait, wait. No. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Cue it. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. This is Mr. Ed and Julio. We're out of here until the next video. God bless everybody. Well, here we are at the Beehive House. And I've got four traps set over here. Man, I'm looking at something that I definitely don't look like. I'm not going to show y'all yet. I ain't going to show y'all that one. So let's go and check and see what we got over here. Uh, this one. Nope. Nothing. Nothing on this one. Nothing. Oh, what's that? There's a B. But I don't think we got a swarm in there. Right, it's a bee. Let's see. Nah, ain't nothing in there. <laughs> I don't want to show you that other, what I just saw. We're gonna we're gonna save that one for last. Right, let's see. We got this one right here. Nope, nothing in that one either. Doggone it. <laughs> but look. At this, oh my gosh. Why do bees want to go under the box instead of in the box? So I'm gonna have to come out here and do a, a removal on that one. Gee whiz, that's a, that was a big, big swarm, huh? Look at that, wow. Well, we did catch one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but man, that's going to be a lot of extra work for me to get that one back to the Abbey. So if you remember in the video, we talked about, saw that the bees in the, on the, in that duck house. So I uh, talked with the homeowner. We're going to, we're going to hold off on that one. We're going to wait until the fall to get that one. But for right now, oh my gosh, <laughs> we got to deal with these things. And I got to deal with those things kind of soon.